Amazing Grace is another person passed from Toy Story. Yay. Amazing Grace is another person passed from Toy Story. Yay. Yay. Amazing Grace is another person passed from Toy Story. Yay. Yay. Hello, what's up guys? My name is Percy and I'm the Guinness World Record holder for the largest collection of fast food toys. Yes, <laughs> Okay, so I'm here once again to tell you another amazing and stupendous and awe-inspiring Percy's Fast Food Toy Story or Non-Fast Food Toy Story. But for today, we have a non-fast food toy story. And boy, have I got a toy for you. Our toy for today is... Dun -dun -dun -dun. <laughs> Can you guess who this is? This is one of the sisters of uh, Princess Ariel from the movie The Little Mermaid. Okay, this is Adela. <laughs> Look at her. Isn't she cute? Okay. Well, uh, she has to be the third daughter of King Triton and Queen Athena. Okay, she's described to have this very black hair <laughs> and then this color gold uh, fins. Yes, so she's uh, readily identifiable with the color of the fins and uh, the lower part of the body, the fish part, and also the, the black hair, <laughs> the brunette. Yeah. Okay, so this is it. Now, what else can we say about Ariel? Although, most of the time in the, the Little Mermaid 1, 2, and 3, she only had the cameo role, but uh, a lot of things can be discovered about uh, uh, Princess Adela. Okay, aside from the fact that she's the third, uh, third daughter of um, King Triton, did I say that <laughs> And Queen Athena. I heard that her favorite food is sea cucumber sandwiches. I haven't tasted it, but I think that is quite delectable. If I were a mermaid. And then, of course, um, sh one of her hobbies is actually to dance with Sluggy. If Ariel has his Sebastian and Flounder, uh, Princess Adela has her Sluggy, <laughs> you know, probably a sea slug or something like that. And then she also loves uh, playing the violin. Now, one of her greatest fear was uh, not to be kissed. She's always been uh, described by her sisters as being boy crazy. That is why it means a lot uh, to her that she be kissed. But for such a long time, she hasn't gotten a boyfriend and the kiss seems to be very elusive. But eventually, as we later on learn, that she will finally get her kiss from Stevie, who will hopefully become her boyfriend. <laughs> okay, lucky her. Well, because of that particular characteristic, uh, she, like I said, she was uh, thought to be very shallow and very vain according to her sister but eventually as she gets older she will you know later on become very profound as well as uh, having learned a lot of things in life okay okay so that's it this is princess adela now i must say this is just an amazing grace so once again guys let's try to be thankful to god for all the amazing grace that come into our lives be they in the form of a princess adela toy just like this one pretty awesome great addition to my percy's toy collection and also be thankful for you know sisters <laughs> in our life who sometimes uh, may be perceived to be very shallow may be perceived to be very annoying but um, at the end of the day, there are our blood sisters, and they are, um, they could possibly be um, one of our best friends, and uh, yeah, a best friends in our lives. <laughs> okay, uh, or basically, guys, let's be thankful for every amazing grace, be they small or big, be they seemingly insignificant, or the truly eventful ones, or just about every amazing grace that make our lives a lot more happy and jolly. And I thank you guys for always tuning in to Percy's Fast Food Toy Story or non Fast Food Toy Story. Thank you to the new subscribers. Please keep them coming because we still have a lot more Percy's Toy Stories up my sleeves. So until the next one, bye bye and see you around. Here's Princess Adela. Adela.